Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. How are you? I hope all of you are fine and ready to learn in our first lesson. By the way, I'm teacher Izaida and I will be your English teacher for this year. Our lesson today will be based on your Get Smart Plus 3 textbook and our topic is Welcome. So, my dear kids, Welcome to Year 3 and welcome to my English class. I hope we will enjoy learning English together. Alright, first we will listen to a song. You can sing along too if you want. So, are you guys ready? Let's start! Activity 1 Listen and match then sing. Smart friends. Hello, I'm Sharky. I'm a big fish. I've got big teeth and three purple fins. Who's that? Who's that? What's his name? His name is Greg. He's got brown eyes. His hair is a brown. He's very nice. Who's that? Who's that? What's her name? Her name is Anna. She's got blonde hair. Her eyes are green. She's a pretty girl. Okay, did you enjoy the song? I hope you really enjoyed the song. When you listen, did you notice anything about the hair and the eyes of Anna and Greg? What does it say about Greg eyes? Look at the lyric again. He's got brown eyes, right? How about Anna's hair? She's got blonde hair, right? So, from here, we can learn to describe about other people's hair and eyes because everyone is different. Now, let's look at how can we describe people's hair. First, we can describe hair according to their colors. For example, the first one is blonde hair. Can you please repeat after me? Blonde hair. Blonde hair. Okay. The second one is black hair. Black hair. Black hair. And the third one is brown hair. Brown hair. Brown hair. Other than that, we can also describe hair according to their types. The first one is short hair. Short hair. Short hair. So if you look at this boy, he's got short hair. While this girl, she's got blonde hair and long hair. Okay, the second one is curly hair. Can you see the girl's hair? Very curly. Just like Maggie Me. And the last one is straight hair. 
straight hair. Can you see her hair? Very long and very straight. Okay, next, we are going to see how can we describe people's eyes. First, we can describe people's eyes based on their shapes. The first one is big eyes. If you look at the girl, she's got very big eyes. Very big and round eyes. While for this boy, he's got small eyes can you see his eyes very small compared to this one the girl very big so this guy has got small eyes and the third one is slanted eyes slanted eyes slanted eyes other than that, we can also talk about the colors of their eyes. For example, if you look at this girl, she's got brown eyes. Brown eyes. Brown eyes. Can't you see her eyes? Brown eyes. While this girl has got Blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes. While this boy, he has got black eyes, black eyes, black eyes. Do you understand now on how to describe hair and eyes? I hope you understand based on my explanation before. My dear kids, we can also describe a person from their personality. Look at the boy. We can say that he's handsome or he's charming. While for the girl, we can say that she's pretty, she's beautiful, or she's lovely. Even better, we can use the words in the blue box. For example, these words, nice, kind, good, and cute, to talk about both boys and girls. For example, he's nice, she's kind, he's good, she's cute. But remember, we cannot use the word handsome and charming to describe a girl. And we can also use the word pretty, beautiful, and lovely to describe a boy. Remember, okay? Now, let me show you how to write sentences about a person. The first one is about a boy. Let's read together. His name is Greg. He has got brown hair. He has got big eyes. He's very nice. Okay, one more time, kids. His name is Greg. He has got brown hair. He has got big eyes. He's very nice. Now, let's read about this girl. Her name is Anna. She has got blonde hair. She has got green eyes. She's very pretty. 
Let's try again one more time. Her name is Anna. She has got blonde hair. She has got green eyes. She's very pretty. If you notice, when we talk about hair and eyes, we use the phrase has got. Like this, has got brown hair has got big eyes. But, if you write about the personality, we just say, he's very nice, or she's very pretty. Do you understand? Okay. Alright kids, I hope you understand my explanation in the previous slides. If you do not understand, you can always watch the video again. So, here's your task for today. If you have a printer at home, you can print this and write your sentences in the space given. But, if you don't have any printer, that's fine. Don't worry. You can just write the sentences in your exercise book. And if you like, you can draw the picture. And of course, color it too. Okay? Alright, my dear kids. Finally, we have come to the end of our lesson today. Once you have completed your task, please Take a picture of your answers and send it to the English WhatsApp group. And of course, if you have any problem related to the task, just ask me in the group. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy the lesson. See you next time, kids. Stay safe and stay at home, yeah? Bye!